The fit mind focused intention training can sharpen the tools of this idea, this game of life, right? We're just sharpening the tools. We're taking conscious effort to say, I can build this quality. I can be bold. So we talk about fixed versus growth mindset. There's this idea that's like, oh, I'm just a shy person. You know, little Joey was so quiet. She never really talked. And she was like, little shy Joey. That is true. But I also remember Joey as like, running around as a kid playing soccer and scoring goals and you know so which memory do I want to I mean and and you know what shy Joey was beautiful Joey like there's nothing wrong with that Joey but if I want to be bold if I want to bring out this quality of boldness then maybe I should I could go into my past memory bank that's right here that's that's present it's not in the past it's right here and I can remember like dodging around on the soccer field and being bold and, you know, and, and all of that. And it's like, oh, yeah, I am bold. I am bold. So you can find those qualities, even small ones, to bring about into your present moment and say, oh, I was confident. I remember, you know, when I gave that presentation at school, when I was in high school and everybody loved it. And, and I can, you know, I, I remember that. I can feel that, how good that felt to do that. So we can use our past to serve us and serve our now, right? Just like we can use our future. So awareness is the key, right? We always start with awareness because once you get focused, once you get focused, the awareness starts to just come without even trying. What's your self-image been like? And we're not going to dwell on it, whether it's good or bad, you know, because there is no good or bad. It just is. What's been your self-image? recurring thoughts every day. These are the type of things I think about myself. It just is, right? No judgment, right? What have I been doing more or less of? Maybe I, I, you know, I've been, you know, neglecting things that I used to like to do. And then just, I mean, just making note. Again, we're not dwelling on this. And then emotionally, how have you been feeling emotionally? Are you on a roller coaster? Are you steady? Are you relaxed? Are you anxious? This is just an awareness that has to come. I want you to decide what quality, like start to really focus on that quality right now. And that word, right? Boldness or that word, just um, acceptance. Uh, What quality can you, do you want to add to your toolbox? (laughs) Okay. Maybe it's already in the toolbox, but you want more of it. You want it to fill that toolbox just a little more. And you know, here we talk a lot about values. And if you're living by your highest values, you're going to have, you're going to be going up that emotional, that con- that level of consciousness, right? You're going to feel much more at peace if you're living by your values. And in living by those values, say of peace, there are qualities that are involved with those values, the qualities that you that you express as your self-image, right? So if peace is a quality for you, then quality or is a value for you, then the qualities surrounding peace are what you want to elevate, right? So you want a quality of being relaxed, okay? You want to be more relaxed. You want to be more responsive instead of reactive, for example. That will, that will promote a peaceful environment, right? If you're more responsible, more responsive instead of reactive. So instead of putting it outside of yourself to say, I wish this world was more peaceful, you can say, what is it in me that can be more peaceful? Well, what qualities do I want to have to be more peaceful? And that is a quality that you can work on right now. So we're going to choose that quality. Everybody should be getting an idea now of this quality that you would like. And the beautiful thing about all of this is that this is unique to you and you alone. Your imagination, no one gets to share it. I mean, it's, you can describe things. It's like trying to describe a dream you had the night before. I mean, good luck. (laughs) Good luck. I mean, it does not make sense to yourself, let alone anyone else, right? So your imagination is the most amazing thing I think there is. And it's yours, it, and it makes you who you are. 
It makes you, it makes you also start to trust yourself because it's like this self thing that you have with yourself, this imagination, this ability to visualize, this ability to meditate, this ability to slow down and be with yourself and be, you know, in this prayer with yourself. Or you can even, you know, if, if you're more spiritual, you can even say it's like connecting with God connecting with your you the universe and that is within you and 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 pulling and knowing and the more you do this the more you slow down and you just focus the more you see just how whole and complete you already are right and again this idea of self image is just helping us navigate this world you are already perfect whole and complete just as you are there's nothing to change. There's nothing to develop. There's nothing you have to create. There's no pressure to figure things out because it is already done. It is already done. But the beautiful thing is, is you can go within and you can slow down the mind and all the distractions and you can start to realize just how beautiful your heart is and how just how much you have inside of you already to develop and pull out so that boldness or that re, the, that relaxed person or that confident person it is there inside of you already